Recruitment experts Hayes says Malaysia has overtaken Hong Kong and the number of women in senior management roles. Joining me now on set is Tom Osborne, the country manager for Hayes Malaysia. Okay, just there, Irene Omar, the CEO of AirAsia, said it should be about meritocracy, not so much about gender. And taking a look at the jump that Malaysia has made, is that the kind of theme that you're seeing in this move towards more women being in senior management roles? Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more with that. That's just the point, is that Malaysian businesses are starting to understand that meritocracy and performance-based analysis is the best way to monitor their workforces and decide whether who should go into those management positions. And a uh, consequence of that is obviously more females in management positions. Um, it's not so much about the gender, it's more about the performance of the individuals and their ability to be able to get there. Um, businesses obviously do um, have different programs in place to be able to make sure um, you know, women can get into management positions and there's a lot businesses can do across the country and across the globe to do that. But I think that is the point is that that is now starting to be recognised, not just in Malaysia, but of course across the globe as well. And how much does the presence of multinational corporations in Malaysia have to do with this and how much does competition with other companies in similar industries also have a role yeah, to play? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's very important. Um, nearly half of the work uh, companies in Malaysia have said that there's going to be a skill shortage in their own businesses and that's mm. actually going to hamper um, their ability to be able to do business over the next couple of years. So it's important they're able to understand where their skill sets lies and to be able to produce an environment where then people are going to be able to go up the ladder and really contribute positively to uh, those businesses. And I think multinational companies do recognise that very early on. Obviously, their business practices they've got across the globe. So I think that all business in Malaysia will have to recognise that if they're going to hold on to their own staff and, of course, attract new staff as well. How important is government policy in creating that environment that you speak of? Um, I think it's important. I think it's more important for businesses um, to recognise their own internal um, talent acquisition uh, policies. I think it's very important for businesses to understand that performance-based analysis and performance-based, uh, um, uh, like I say, analysis should be able to come to the forefront within businesses. Um, and anything the government can do in order to be able to promote that kind of uh, meritocratic process would be much appreciated and, and, and would definitely um, help the, the country, not just socially, but also in the business as well. Yeah, let's talk more broadly about this idea of skill shortage, because of course, it's not just about a gender thing, it's about industries requiring labor that has the technical expertise. Yeah. What industries in Malaysia are going to see that crunch come faster? Well, I think that what we're experiencing is that all industries are experiencing a skill shortage from sort of mid-management up to the top management. Um, and there's a lot to be done within businesses to be able to, um, I suppose, sh shrink that, that shortage. Um, the IT sector, there's lots of migration from other countries throughout Southeast Asia um, coming to Malaysia. I think that's a particular area that we need to really focus on. Um, things like e-commerce and, uh, and, and sales and marketing, accountancy and finance, these are all areas that we really need to focus on and make sure that we've got the best people here in Malaysia to be able to, you know, to, be able to drive the country forward. All right, thanks so much for that. Some trends to keep an eye out for. And that was Tom Osborne, country manager for Hayes Malaysia.